brought me back to Philly, so that was awesome. And from radio, I am now acting. So I'm hyped for Boston to Philly. <laughs> Very hyped. I'm excited for everybody to see it. And yeah, so acting is, has always been my passion. So I, I am grateful for radio because I was uh, shy. I was shy, I guess, growing up, you could say. So radio helped kind of bring me out of that and go after acting because it's always been something I wanted to do. All right, let's yeah. do it. Now, <laughs> What's going on? Um, actually, I thanks, thank you. I didn't want to be too loud in my head. Uh, I've been acting for probably on and off about one on two years. I never really ever imagined myself acting until I met some friends in the theater and they just kept suggesting it. Because originally I just did modeling, so you know I just gave it a shot and I started to love it. I started to love the craft, the passion, actually getting more in depth with understanding characters and it just it just got deep. Then when I met <laughs> this young man got Ralph, deep. it got deep. Then when I met uh, you know Ralph, we great we created a great bond and after that, you know, the rest was history. We just we just kept going from there. Alright, so Ralph, this is your yes. first movie that you So there's actually I've been doing this for about like four years now actually. So this is the first film that I've actually like kind of created from just the jump. So I'm the director I'm the writer, I'm the producer, and I also star in it, okay. and also wrote it. So this is the first film where I've, you know, I've kind of, I have my hand in every single element of making this film. And uh, I didn't really want it to be that way at first. And I wanted to find someone to play Rome, which is her, like, her counter. I wanted to find someone to kind of direct it fully, but it just kind of happened so that, you know, I had to fill in every single position. And like in life, you gotta take what was given to you and make, you know, make something happen. How, how did you feel playing a role that you? You know, so it had to be done. Like I, there was really no one. I couldn't find any other brother that could really kind of bring to life the character that I wrote. Like we had some people try out, and I'm like, this last guy's swag's kind of off. And I'm, like, you know, and I'm like, I don't know if this guy, like, this guy's gonna do it justice. And um, like, so when I when I casted Mia, like, I'm like, oh man, I got I got to make sure whoever's playing with Mia can do this right because she's gonna make him look bad. And uh, she kind of carries me throughout the whole film, actually. Stop. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, I, I do good enough. I do good enough that you can be proud of, or Boston can be proud. Because the, the character's name is Rome, but in the film, his nickname is Boston. So he represents, like, the, you know, the Boston guy. So uh, I had to do it. There's no one else that could do it. Now, yeah. you said is it, you actually moved from Boston to Philly. So is this yeah. story more about your story? or? So the film itself, there's a lot of different subplots. Like, there's a lot of different stories that different people can kind of, like, jump into. Like, yeah. you kind of mentioned you're a rapper. Um, so we have, we have A.R. Ab in the film. And he's playing like the leader of um, like a group of individuals in North Philly. That's actually more of uh, Philly's background. But at the same time, you know, then there's my storyline, which is the guy, a young man, who lost his parents at the championship basketball game and was forced to come to Philadelphia. So like, there's a lot of different plots and themes in the film that it, 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 it's, in its own had its own life, its own film. Yeah, I but, think there's definitely a character that everyone will find somebody to relate to. Yeah. There's a lot of different storylines going on. That's what, when I saw yeah. the previews, it looked like there was different storylines. Yes. Yeah. Somehow, at the end, y'all all kind of so, come together. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 A little bit of crash going on. So you do the <laughs> casting. What do you look for in your cast members? What exactly are you looking for? You're asking the right person. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm interested I'm, to hear this, actually. <laughs> I mean, some people say I'm kind of ferocious. I mean, I don't think that's, that's the case. I'm just... I cannot stand someone who doesn't know their lines. I hate, like, for me, as a director, as someone like, looking for somebody, if you walk in with a piece of paper in your hands, that's the first, like, oh, no, what am I about to get? Like, it's so amazing if you can walk into an audition with no sides on you. You just walk in and you know your shit. Right. Uh, stop. No, you're pretty good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Real good, all right. No, so, yeah, you walk in and you know your shit, like, that right there, okay, cool. This person is a professional to the right. utmost degree. Then from there, I want to see a, a sense of just understanding who you are mm -hmm. and how you can apply that to the character. Right. Uh, for example, uh, with John, when I when I casted him as G, it was after having a full conversation with him. I'm like, man, this this guy is very similar to the character that I wrote. Right. And from there, I'm like, you know what? I want to see you be this character. Let me see how this goes. And he hit it at the park. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it at the park. So how was the audition process for you? Uh... My audition was kind of different <laughs> so originally I auditioned to be an extra I was, wow. to, I was supposed to play one of the tough guys but that didn't work out <laughs> so so it's like eight in the morning and 
I was told to come around, what, 12? Like, Something like that. Yeah, around that time of afternoon. <laughs> so I'm just taking my time, just like, okay, I'm doing an extra, no big deal. Then I see a Boston number on my phone, like, what is this Boston area code? Then I answer it, and it's Rob. He said, uh, yeah, you're supposed to be here at 9, 9.30. I was like, what? So I hurried up, got in the shower, <laughs> left out, made it to the place, and Ralph thought I was, you know, person playing G already. And everyone keep asking, is this the guy? Is this the guy? He was like, I'm like, I, I guess I'm the guy. I'm just here to do a part. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so Again, I expected the person to be there early. Yeah, That's the, the guy <laughs> wasn't. The guy came, oh. like, like, two hours late. Yeah. And wow. Ralph kept storming around saying, if this guy doesn't come in 20 minutes, he's playing G. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so 20 minutes go by. He's like, okay, John, you're playing G. I said, great. Who's that? He said, the lead role. I just... Stuck. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so how good, are you, how good are you with the script? I said, I'm pretty good. Then he just gave me a script. I had to like get it in 20 minutes, like yeah. for a quick scene. So after that, that's awesome. It, yeah, and it worked out. Yeah, it worked yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. That's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, I was shocked. <laughs> how was your audition process? Anything? My audition was cool. I actually submitted to the casting. I yeah. think I saw it on Facebook, and I submitted to the casting. And I guess it was you that reached out, reached back, and uh, scheduled my audition, and just told me to come with a monologue. So I did come with my monologue prepared. I think I did it twice. Yeah, we did. I, yeah, I think I did it twice. Uh, and I don't know. It, then you made your decision. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny too. <laughs> I'm not sure what he saw in me, but <laughs> like. <laughs> The whole day, you know, we have like our film, even though it's like at this point it's pretty big budget, you know, we have a pretty strong fan base. Uh, I'm very, I'm very content with uh, where we are right now in the stage of the game. And premiering next month, like, you know, people are really going to get behind us, like, man, it's like an amazing film. But like, you know, when we started, we were like very grassroots. Like, we were kind of like low budget, just like, I rented out this like really like (laughs) rinky dink hall to hold the auditions. And it wasn't, it wasn't a very successful day. Like, there were a lot of actors that didn't show up that should have showed up. Because, you know, they didn't really know who I was, who I had done in the past. Like, there wasn't as much love that I would have liked. And I completely forgot that I reached out to Mia. So I'm sitting in this hallway, you know, kind of kind of down on my luck. And this, like, this gorgeous, like, you know, supermodel walks in the door. Oh, and I'm like, I'm just like, who, who, who is this? Who is this? She, clearly this person is lost. Let, let, let me help her. And, um, I don't know, in more ways than one. You know, she, she kind of helped me find my way. Like she came in and she just like killed it, and the day was saved because I found my lead actor, and awesome. everything else didn't matter. I found my lead actor, and she killed it. From, from, from and I didn't even know it was you at the time. You were in the room, and I believe you were you were uh, reading with me, yeah. right, for yeah. the scene you wanted me to do. So I didn't even realize he was writer director. I just this guy was reading the lines with me, so I was just yeah, going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because right. right. yeah. yeah. you already had that role. Like, did you know when she came in, like, I'm gonna give her this role or? Well, I came to audition for Philly. Yeah. That was who I was auditioning for, but yeah. I don't know. After after the first after her monologue, and then I asked her to say it again. I'm like, can you just say it again, a little bit nicer? Because like she she came in like kind of mean mugging. I'm like, man. <laughs> Like, can this can this chick even smile? And then like she smiled. I'm like, oh okay. Then yeah, we're good. This is this is this could be Philly for sure. Yeah. This, this is not your first movie, right? No. Um, ironically, um, well, this is the first lead role that I had in a I originally just did, you know, modeling. That's what I really was doing because um, 
I went to college down south at HBCU, Virginia Union. And I was like, hey. <laughs> so uh, I went through like a bad breakup. And my friends like, no, just model. I don't know why I take a lot of advice from my friends, or I guess it's trying to work. Hold on, I want to know how modeling. Yeah. Was it the like, yo, man, just, 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 just put on my like, girlfriend lifestyle. Yeah, like, yo, it's cool. Yo, just yo, model. Yo, just yo. model. Okay, so, is that what I should have been doing all this time? Like, you never know, man. You look, you look good. No, I didn't model, but that was never like the solution, like for a bad person. That's, the, problem. Problem. Oh, yeah. That's like, the glow up. I was making that good. Make it all you want. Yeah. Okay, I got yeah, you. So, <laughs> yeah, so I went like a bad breakup, and my friends like, yo, let's just model and do something more productive. Just get your mind off it. So I was like, you know what? I'll model. So then I did a few shows, uh, you know, network from here to there, and then I transferred schools to a uh, lock haven. And that's when I met my PR through friends, and we did a lot of runway shows and all that stuff. And then that's when the whole "Hey, you should act" started coming in. Just that, just stop modeling up. Like acting's way more fun. Like it's. You know, yeah, I think modeling's hard. It is. It's, it, I wouldn't know. I'm too ugly. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of here. Yeah, he's yeah, because I don't know. Humble's not his huge thing. Right? <laughs> Well, for you, Shame. for acting, you kind of started with the acting thing. Yeah. How did you find it from transitioning to actually being an actor in somebody else's movie to doing your own yeah. movie and being an actor? And that was it a little bit harder. No, it's what I honestly what I love about this whole industry, this this whole business. Like everyone has their story, and it's always so unique. But like everyone kind of understands the element of being an actor is being able to bring in everything you've experienced and then showcase it through a character. Like, especially with Boston Phil, like when I wrote it, I, I wanted to kind of like show people, like this is what, from what I know of Philadelphia, you see what it looks like if someone's grown up from North Philly. And it comes to, and has a conversation with someone that grew up in Boston. And like, this is what it looks like for a girl who's, you know, beautiful, but also has her demons in the past. So with me, like, you know, I, I've lived a pretty exciting life up until this point. So when I, when I wanted to, get to act, I just kind of helped I brought in everything I've experienced and put it into every scene. Like one, one, of, one of my favorite scenes in the film is like we're on top of a rooftop and um, it's a blizzard, the actual blizzard happening. It's the, the first scene you see in the, in the trailer. I love that scene. And you know, I pumped myself up before shooting that scene because I've, you know, I've experienced that already. I've had an argument you know, during a snowstorm um, with wifey. You know, I've, I've, I've gotten into fights with, with people that I, I really respect because I'm so passionate about what's happening. So. Um, you know, that's that's how I transitioned. I just used my actual life to start acting. Well, uh, what I was kind of thinking is like, did you kind of uh, did you kind of put more pressure on yourself now that it's your movie, or do you, would you think that it's more pressure when you're doing somebody else's? Movie? Oh, okay. You no, know, it's I don't look at it that way. I, I, I should probably, but I don't. I don't. I think it's the same. Because um, you know, some people are perfectionists when it's their right. project, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I should ask them, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're right. That's right. You know, I don't look at it's that way. Almost, it's, 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 it's almost annoying how much of a perfectionist he is. <laughs> However, I will say that <laughs> right. it, when it goes his way, because he's such a, it's worth it. Like we as actors might get Thank aggravated. You. Like, why can't we just do it here? I don't understand. What's the big deal? It's just this one location. And he's like, no, I want this place. And but for whatever reason. And then once it's done, You're yeah, like, oh, he was right. Easy. He was right. Don't know how many times I'll never say that to you again. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're recording this, right? We got yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got, yo, send me this link. <laughs> I know, yeah. Um, so. Um, so I wanted to ask the actors, how has shooting the film impacted your life personally? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a deep question. I'll say for me, um, for me, Boston to Philly was like my rainbow because it occurred not too long after radio ended for me. Mm -hmm. And because my entire career was radio, and I was in a place where I wasn't sure, and I felt like I didn't want to continue radio, and I didn't want to use that as a crutch right. in, in my life. So, and acting was literally, is literally what I wholeheartedly want to do with my career moving right. forward. So. Yeah, but it, you know, everything has perfect timing. So when radio ended for Boston to Philly to then come about um, was perfect for me. It was, yeah, so thank you, it was. I don't even know if you know that, but. <laughs> I did know um, you know that. So um, yeah, so yeah, it was like my rainbow, like yes, this is the right path, let me yeah. go. You know, it was like that. Oh. <laughs> oh man, 
Um, I want to say while shooting this movie, my perspective on life kind of you know expanded because when I look at my character, I kind of look at myself a lot. That's why sometimes me and Rock go back and forth saying, no, I think he would do this or he would do that. Because certain situations that G actually does in the film, like, I can understand why he did it. Because some situations growing up, I did that. I had yeah. similar background like how he did. I won't get into detail of how deep it was, but it was close enough to a point where I can actually can sit down and actually rap to him and say, okay, I, I understand why you're doing this. Or, yeah, there's no other option. Like, we have to do this. So what was your process? Um, you were a process of you know, transforming into the character, and like when shooting stopped, did you were you still that character? Did you like, still yeah. see yourself picking up the head? Were you like a method actor? actor yeah. Or, yeah, that's a good question. I, you know, I'd love for them to answer this question because <laughs> I know I know the answer. Wait, I no, I want to hear your answer. answer. No. Oh, no. Let um, me tell you. Let me tell you something about Mia. So, Mia, first and foremost, Mia is almost always ready. So it's embarrassing for me because she almost never messed up her lines because she knows the character so well. Like, there's a lot of scenes where, sadly for Mia, we had to make her cry. Like, it'd be like, okay, Mia, so this next take, we're gonna have you cry. Five seconds, let's go. And she'll, you know, she'll, she's ready in character. So within five seconds, she's good to go, she's crying. And with me, I'm like stumbling over my words. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with my clothes. I'm trying to figure things out. And it's clear to me, you're definitely a method actor. Nice. Definitely okay. a method actor. Okay. Especially when we had you with, with AR app because you like there was a, we had like I think over a hundred people on set that time, mm -hmm. and you were just like in your own little shadow, just like yo. I I'm do, and right I now. don't know. I don't know. Do all actors and even the greats? I'm not sure what they do in those situations. But yeah, for me, if it's a scene where I need to be at a particular state of mind, and um, yeah, you know, at that point of yeah. where I'm crying, uh, yeah, you do have to. For me, I have to block everybody out, mm -hmm. and it can be 20 people in this room. You'll catch me in that corner. By myself, and people don't even know I dipped off, <laughs> and I just do. And you might even a lot. I mean, actors understand it, but you might even see me talking to myself or whatever the case may be. Because a lot of times the emotions for me come from saying, saying the words out loud, saying what I'm going through out loud. That's when the emotions really sink in, um, the tricking of the brain. So. Yeah, that's where I would just dip off, and yeah, I don't know absolutely. what y'all are doing. I don't know what y'all are doing. Uh, it would seem me up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, but I'm listening in a way. You know, I'm listening just for my name, and then when they're looking for me, I'll come or something. Yeah. You know, I'm like, just let me just take one. Yeah, just let me know when take it's one. time for action. That shows the seriousness. Yeah. Of how you're taking this. Yeah. So. yeah. I so, love it. I do. So how has um, acting school? Because you went to school in New York. Yes. Yeah. How has that prepared oh you for this? Oh my gosh! Shout out to MTV Studios. It's on 38th and 8th in Midtown. So if you are looking for an acting studio, I absolutely love them. Shout out to Kim, uh, my foundations coach, and Mary. Um, I found them just through networking, and at the time I was living in North Jersey, so it was very convenient for me to get to New York and start to study acting. And yeah, I mean, we learned there from stage. Mm -hmm. uh, so stage is, you know, a different animal. <laughs> but we learned from stage and how to tap into those emotions. And uh, I've been pulling from like rock.